Hey guys, I'm on my way to a callback. This is a call that I think I have visited twice. Cleaned it out one time. A thorough clean because it looked like it hadn't been cleaned in 20 years. And then um, a couple months later I have to come back and replace a condenser fan motor and both times I checked pressures I thought it was fine and the tenant this is an old system it's 20 25 plus years old I think it was somewhere around there but um the tenant's calling saying it's not keeping up so um and last time I was out there was 20 days ago so let's go see what's going on on my condenser fan motor. system and it's about 80 degrees in there that is right so my question is what's happening
Do you turn this off when you leave the house? Um, yes. And when you come home, you turn it back on and... Yeah, because I have to be to work at 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't get off till one. So you turn it off all day long and then it's like 80 something degrees when you come home? Well, some, yeah. Or like, when I, when I just, when I don't be, I mean, when I just be at home, like today, I be off. Like every Monday, Sunday, Monday, I be off. And like all day yesterday, 80 degrees, it little be, and then it never goes off. Like, if I can put it, the lowest it goes to 68 up here, uh -huh. and it the temperature will not drop. Like, it literally, like in my room, it'd be so stuffy, like it's congested or something. I don't, I don't know. And then that caused my light bill to go up because it, it just keep running out, it don't never go off. All right, can I make a suggestion? instead of turning it off mm -hmm. when you leave you see how you got it on like 72 now mm -hmm. maybe turn it up to like 78 mm -hmm. that way it don't run much but it keeps the house at a reasonable temperature and it will it won't have to work so hard to bring it back down does that make any sense what time do you you get home in the middle of the night right no no i work from 5 a.m in the morning to 1 p.m in the afternoon Okay, so when you come home, that's the hottest part of the day, mm -hmm. and it, it's going to have trouble pulling the temperature down. Mm -hmm. It's just going to maintain. So leave it. Don't turn it off. Just turn it up to like seventy-eight mm -hmm. or maybe seventy-seven, and then when you come home, turn it back down. That will help. But if there's something else wrong, I'm gonna look for it right now. Okay. Okay. But yes, don't don't turn it off because when you're coming home, that's the hottest part of the day, mm -hmm. and the house is gonna be over 80 degrees. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have trouble. Yeah, because I feel like you. my son, he be here, so I um, we work different shifts, so I let it stay on. Like I said, it's when I come home, it still be maybe seven, eight, seven, nine, because I call him like throughout the day and some with temperatures in the house. And I just like sit it and it still stay at that same temperature all day. You mean like at 76? You no, know, it'd be hotter than it in here. Okay. It may be 78, sometimes 79. And it just stay at that, that temperature. It don't move. Like, like you say, I can put it at 72 and it still will not drop down. And that air conditioner stays on all day. Like it never turns off. Okay. Like you know how like it turn off when it gets to like 70, it doesn't do that. Mm. Alright, I'm going to investigate and see if we can find something wrong, okay? Okay. Alright, it looks like I got my probes in the wrong spot, but um... Y'all watch this Delta T.
Okay guys, this probe is on the return grill. I got 16.3 Delta T. That probe is on the thermostat and it looks to me like it's just malfunctioning. So let's go by this one. 16 degree Delta T. I mean, for a system this old, that is fantastic. All right, so I've got 17 degrees subcooling, 10 degrees superheat, 258 over 80 on the R22. Saturation temperature of 47 degrees, which is a little bit high. But I'm getting uh, 15 to 16 degree Delta T. That one's messed up. Honestly, around here, 14 degrees is enough. But I know I just saw 16 a second ago, but I had just put my probes up. So this return temperature is the difference that probe was outside, so it's cooling off. That still ought to be enough. So what I'm worried about is this thing getting hot and stopping or something. Head pressure still a little bit high. I got lots of sub cooling. I'd rather it be a little bit high than a little bit low. line temperatures coming back 57 degrees I got a Delta T of 14.2 okay I was pulling 1.04 amps on the condenser fan motor right now I'm not remembering what motor I used so I'm going to open it up and try to read off the motor what I'm supposed to have. Okay, volts, RPM. Ooh, that is hot. Quarter. All right, where are my ants? Amps 1.5. So it's below amp. Brand new motor. I'm not expecting any problems but you never know Wasting my time out here or not. Well, it sounds quieter. Well, 
Well, now my temperature sensors, this is one, two, three, are all right around 100 degrees. Pressure is still looking good. I got my probes off. I'm beginning to think that my problem was the tenant turning the system off. All right, guys, on that one, I had a heart to heart talk with the tenant, and um, she promised that she was going to stop turning it off, letting it get up to 85, and sometimes she said 88 degrees before she turns it back on. A system that old and with temperatures above 90 degrees outside, it's gonna be hard for that thing to pull down to 70, 72 degrees when it's like 95 degrees outside. The um, design temperatures around here 95 and 75 so when it's 95 degrees outside our design temperatures manual J only stipulates that it needs to be 75 degrees inside so if it's starting at say 86 degrees it's going to run a long time the rest of the day and most of the night before it actually gets down so that that explains why it's running all the time for her so we talked her into just turning it up a few degrees and then turning it down and hopefully that will prevent another callback but was that callback my fault i don't think so y'all be the judge thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one